Like, you know, this house, for example, I manifested this. Whether or not you consider yourself a fan of Drake, I'm sure you've seen his custom mega mansion in his hometown of Toronto. Spanning 50,000 square feet, the manor was designed and built exactly to the rapper's specifications, boasting world-class amenities like a massage room, NBA-sized indoor basketball court, pool in the basement, and much more. Not to mention, it was also constructed with only the best materials like limestone and exotic wood. While Drake's career started off as acting in the hit series Degrassi when he was a teen, these days he's best known for being a rapper and singer. Once he pursued a career in music, his success skyrocketed, and not only is he one of the world's best-selling artists, he's also amassed an estimated net worth of over $180 million. The rapper's main mansion in the ritzy Bridal Path neighborhood of Toronto, which took years to custom build, definitely suits his success and is a marvel to say the least. Welcome to Daily Lifestyle with Celebrities. Where it is that the rapper bought the land back in 2016 for $6.7 million, getting the home custom designed and constructed from the ground up, which took years. These days, Drake's mansion is also known as the Embassy and is worth an estimated $100 million. Located on two acres of land in the upscale Bridal Path community in Toronto, not to mention he installed super high fences surrounding the compound for ultimate privacy. Drake's stately manor home was envisioned by architect and interior designer Ferris Rafali and no expense was spared in crafting the rapper's dream home. The custom crib is made of limestone, bronze, exotic woods, and other top-notch materials, spanning a whopping 50,000 square feet of space. Walking in the mansion, the entryway is decked out in black and white marble with soaring ceilings and a custom bronze and marble chandelier overhead. Also on the main floor, there's a two-level hallway, a party area, and a great room with 44 foot high ceiling, boasting a huge fireplace and piano room to the side, all of which leads to the kitchen. Even the piano here is something special. In the great room, you'll find a designer booth and door for concert grand piano. The kitchen boasts a clean white color palette with large marble block island in the center, as well as blue suede bar chairs to dine in and designer appliances. The nearby dining room has a long table for entertaining and plush couch style seating on is his 3,200 square foot master retreat that's located in its own wing of the home. There is a large one ton bed in the bedding and tapestry are all designer as you'd expect, while well, there's an extra 1,100 square feet of covered terraces. His spa style bathroom boasts a steam shower and a hot tub, while the suite also encompasses two dressing rooms and a kitchenette. Then the luxury guest rooms are located in the guest wing of the home, as you might expect. And since Drake couldn't skimp on anything, the mansion even has special toilets. Drake also has a cozy studio lounge with backlit panels and warm lighting, and elsewhere an awards room where he proudly shows up his Grammys. There's also a world-class recording studio where Drake likes to listen to music, not just create it, and a jersey hall displaying basketball memorabilia in a museum-like setting. Other features include a home gym, a movie theater, a snack room, an elevator, and an impressive block staircase adorned with chandeliers. Not to mention being the basketball ambassador and fan that he is, Drake has an NV regulation-sized basketball court inside his home, custom designed with his OVO brand logo. Downstairs, Drake has an Olympic-sized indoor swimming pool decked out in black granite, also boasting special lighting to set the mood, seating around the pool and mirrored walls. While an indoor pool helps in Canadian weather, Drake had to include two pools, building another one outside, which is also massive and perfect for the few months of summer we have. Drake's multi-million dollar estate also offers a 10-car garage and spacious driveway to hold his luxury car collection. Located in the exclusive Hidden Hills neighborhood, Drake owns a few neighboring properties, buying the first in 2012 for nearly $8 million, which spanned about three acres of Land. Listing materials claim this estate was a world-class private resort and the former owner bought the land in 2000. The mansion spans 12,500 square feet of space with six beds and 10 baths throughout and no expenses spared with the amenities. There are a ton of amazing features inside Drake's LA crib, including a 24-seat home theater, gorgeous library, games room, spa and massage room, and fitness. Most spectacular wine cellar tasting room you have ever seen. Drake's master suite here has his and hers bathrooms, and to access the room, you can travel through a revolving bookshelf, just like the movie. Outside spaces are even crazier than the interior, considering there's a multi-million dollar pool as the main attraction, which alone has cascading waterfalls and 80-foot slides. 
slide, a grotto, a wet bar, and even TV. Also on the grounds, you'll find a mechanical bowl, a tennis court, viewing pavilions, and even a volleyball court. This doesn't include the multiple terraces and patios, guest bathrooms, and the horse facilities with five stalls and a riding arena. In recent years, Drake purchased two neighboring properties to this estate, turning it into one big compound all for himself. In 2016, it was reported he paid just under $3 million for a 1950s ranch style house across the street and another in 2018. The most recent purchase was somewhat of a fixer upper, but Drake still paid about $4.5 million for it, and it spans 2,500 square feet. All of these properties combined allow Drake to take up about 6.7 acres in the San Fernando Valley. We got to take a look at his custom Drake Manor in Toronto which took years to construct and it's really something else. Indoor pool in the basement.